I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I slept with everybody and their brother. I, I was a womanizer. I was, I, you know, I was a drug addict. I did drugs. I slept with everybody and their brother. I, I slept with everybody and their brother. I, I slept with everybody and their brother. I hurt women. I lied to them. I slept with everybody and their brother. 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 I Mark, I I'll, I'll, I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I slept with everybody and their brother. Okay, I wanted to do a video, a study on the fruits of the spirit. And why I'm doing this video is going to be part of a series of videos I'm going to be making exposing Rich Pinkowski. I've done videos about him in the past and exposing his wickedness, showing the wickedness. But this video will be more based on doing a biblical exposing uh, from scripture of his wickedness and showing how not only is he, you know, in all kinds of sin, as I've shown in my other videos, he is uh, blatantly in violation of scripture and obviously he's not saved he preaches a false gospel of uh, roman catholicism basically but you know, when you examine his fruits he does not have any fruits of the spirit and here's a really good example of this okay i covered this in one of my other videos but i'll just play the clip again this is why i'm doing this video and this is why i plan to do many many more videos on rich pinkowski because this guy is very very wicked he's not just okay you know this isn't just some kind of like you know oh it's just about doctrine this video will be about doctrine but it's not just about doctrine. That is one of the aspects of it and why this guy needs to be exposed is his false works-based Catholic gospel, but also his overall wickedness and how he's just doing damage to the body of Christ. You know, like he goes out in his kind of Westboro Baptist church mentality and does all kinds of wicked stuff. And I'll be coming up with videos exposing that in the future as well, as well as also exposing the Westboro Baptist church because those people need to be exposed as well. But so stay tuned for that. But here's a clip I'm going to play of the kind of fruit of Rich Pinkowski and just one example of why this guy needs to be exposed and he, why he needs to be warned against. So watch this. Don't twist scripture to fit your little, you know what, just, just go. Seriously, go. You're the reason why Christians are getting their, their butts handed to them. You want to be going to love the world so much? Then go love them. Again, bend over and let the sodomites sodomize you like do each other because that's all you are good for you scripture twisting jezebel bend over and let the sodomites sodomize you like do each other bend over and let the sodomites sodomize you like do each other bend over and let the sodomites sodomize you like do each other because that's all you are good for Yep, you've heard it correctly. He actually told a, a Christian woman to get raped by sodomites. You know, is that is that the heart of it? You know, pastor is supposed to be a shepherd. He calls himself Pastor Pinkowski. You know, First uh, Peter chapter five. You know, a pastor is supposed to be the shepherd to to sh you know love them and care for the flock like a sh like a shepherd would. You know, Call telling a woman to get raped by sodomites. First of all, that shows two things. It shows that a Rich Pinkowski is a disgusting pervert, and two. He is not a saved man because no no pastor, no Christian has that kind of just spews out that kind of wickedness. Okay, and this is common among this little street, just this SOPA street preaching movement. A lot of them just spew all kinds of filthy garbage. Uh, you can go on my uh, John Craig and KJV Scriptures Only channel. I have a video on there of just you know raw, uncut examples of Reuben Israel using all kinds of filthy profanity. These guys are wicked, and the, the stuff that comes out of their mouth is wicked. But here here is my scriptural premise for making this video. Okay, John chapter three verses 19 through 21, okay? And this is also my scriptural premise of why I plan to make many more videos exposing these wicked people in this, you know, Rich Pankowski, Reuben Israel, you know, the Westboro Baptist cultists, whatever. John chapter three, verses 19 through 21. And this is the condemnation that light is come into the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds be, should be reproved. But he that, do, that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they were wrought in God. Okay, and my second scriptural premise for this, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 11 to 13. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 11 to 13. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. You know, like telling a Christian woman to get, you know, get fornicate, you know, have fornication by sodomites on her. 
But all things that are approved are made manifest by the light, for whatsoever it doth make manifest is light. Okay? This, what these two scriptures are saying, they're basically my premise for this whole video. The reason why I'm doing these videos is because Rich Minkowski, you know, he does not want to have his wickedness revealed. You know, that's why when EJ Love exposed him, Eric Love, I'll be posting his videos in the description. Uh, when Eric Love exposed him, Rich Pankowski showed his true colors, his murderous, you know, wicked true colors. And that's just an example. They don't like having the works of darkness revealed. So I'm going to reveal them in many more videos in the future. But this is going to be a scriptural uh, rebuke of Rich Pankowski. So let's get right into this. That was my, my two premises of how they don't want to have their works of darkness revealed. Well, they're going to be revealed. So anyway, Rich Pankowski and his wicked cult followers don't like having the works of darkness revealed, obviously. So I encourage you, if you want to have more information on this, go watch Eric Love's videos on Rich Pankowski. They will be posted in the description. They show all kinds of the, all kinds of wickedness that comes out of Rich Pankowski's so-called ministry. And the way, I mean, the way Rich Pankowski and his followers responded is literally a physical manifestation of Ephesians 5, 11, 13, and John chapter 9, or 3, verses 19 through 21. Okay, now let's get into the actual you know, meat of the, of the video. A true disciple of the Lord will bear good fruit. John chapter 15, verses 1 to 8. And if you have a King James Bible, I encourage you to actually look along. You know, don't just... See, I'm not, I'm not some kind of cult leader where I just don't want you to listen to me. Actually, if you have a Bible, pull it out and look at it. Look at it. Don't just listen to what I'm saying. John chapter 15, verses 1 to 8. I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now ye are clean to my, the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, as I, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine, no man can ye, except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I am him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch, and is withered, and men gather them, and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. If ye abide in me, and my words, and my words abide in you, and ye, and ye shall ask me, ask, sorry, ye shall ask ye what ye will, sorry, I'm not good at reading on a computer, and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my Father glorified, herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. Okay, and again, I'm just not good at reading on, the reason why I do it on a computer is because when I try to do it on my physical King James Bible, it will take me forever to find the verses, so just to get this, you know, consistently going, I just do it on a computer, just to, just keep it going. Because if I again, if I do it on my physical copy, I'll be like spending a long time trying to find where the verse is at. So it just, 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 just I'm doing it just to save time, basically. Uh, but the point is, is that a disciple of Jesus Christ will bear fruit. That's what we read here in this passage of John 15 verses 1 to 8. And Rich Pankowski does not bear any fruit, as we saw in that that clip of there, where he's spewing that wicked garbage towards that Christian woman. Uh, next, James chapter 3 verses 13 to 18. Turn there. James chapter 3. Verses 13 to 18. Who is a wise man and endued with knowledge among you? Let him show out of a good conversation his works with meekness of wisdom. But if you have bitter envying and strife in your heart, glory not and lie not against the truth. This wisdom descendeth not from above, but is earthly, sensual, devilish. For where envying and strife is, there is confusion in every evil work. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, peaceable and gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, with art, art, without partiality and without hypocrisy. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace. Rich Mikoski does not does not fulfill anything in this passage there. He has no meekness. All he has is earthly, sensual, devilish wisdom. He has no, you know, he, ha he has no desire to make peace. Uh, all he has is envying and strife. Everything that's condemned in this passage, he definitely does. But everything that's, that's that's exalted, he fails at doing. Okay, he does not have. He's not full of mercy. He's not. He does not have. He's full of hypocrisy. That's one thing. He is not. He's not without hypocrisy. He does not have the fruit of righteousness. He has the lust of the flesh. So James chapter three verses thirteen to eighteen basically describes the wicked cult. Now here I'm going to give some scriptural examples of the lust of the flesh being separated from the fruits of the spirit. And we're going to see how Rich Minkowski displays all the lusts of the flesh, but none of the fruits of the Spirit. Okay? Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1 to 11. Okay, go back to Ephesians chapter 5, this time verse 1 down to verse 11. 
Be ye therefore followers of God, as dear children, and walk in love, of, as Christ also hath loved us, and hath given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling Savior. But fornication and all uncleanliness, or covetousness, let it not be once named among you, as becometh saints, neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather giving of thanks. For this ye know that no whoremonger, nor unclean person, nor covetous man, who is an idolater, hath any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no man deceive you with vain words. For because of these things the wrath of God cometh the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. Be, ye, be not ye partakers, therefore partakers with them. For ye were sometimes dark for, for ye were sometimes darkness, but now are ye light in the Lord, walk as the children of light. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodliness and righteousness, and truth goodness and righteousness and truth, proving what is acceptable unto the Lord, and have no fellowship with, with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Okay? Lust of the flesh here knows what they're listed. Fornication, uncleanness, covetousness. You know, covetousness describes Rich Pankowski. He's constantly begging for money. Go on his Facebook page, constantly about over oh, demonetized, send, send us money, send us money. He's covetous. Uh, nor filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting. You know, you watch some of his street preaching, that's all that he does. Filthiness, foolish talking, and jesting. You know, barely quoting any scripture, just barely any Bible verses being quoted when he goes to the uh, Muslim mosques or the or the homosex, you know, the, the homosexual sodomite pride rallies, uh, preaching to the, self, the, the LGBT perverts, um, whatever, goes to the abortion clinic, uh, to the baby killing abortionists you know there's no there's no gospel being presented it's all just a bunch of of court jesting and foolish talking uh unclean person covetous yeah we've already covered that an idolater you know there's there's issues there as well a uh, whoremonger well he isn't an adulterer that is that is a fact uh so he takes all the lusts of the flesh but none of the fruits of the spirit okay he has no goodness and righteousness and truth he is a lost man he is not, he, again, the way he treated Eric Love, the way he treated that sister in Christ on Instagram, the way he's treated other people, proves he's not a saved man. Because no, no Christian, let alone, let alone a pastor of all people, behaves like that. Uh, finally, turn to Galatians chapter 5, verses 16 through 23. And if I sound like I'm just ranting, uh, just keep in mind, this is a, a rebuke of a false prophet. Because I, I've been criticized of, oh, you're being too harsh. You know, uh, for example, for, read Second Peter chapter two verses one to three, and then we'll talk. Because there's nothing, there's nothing scripturally wrong with sharply rebuking a false prophet, and that's what this is. This is a sharp rebuke of a minister of Satan, a wolf in sheep's clothing. Uh, Galatians chapter five verses sixteen through twenty-three. This I say then: Walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. For the flesh lust, for the flesh lusteth against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. But if ye be led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these: adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revilings. And such like of the which I tell you before, as I, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. None of the fruits of the Spirit are displayed by Rich Mikoski. Not one. Okay? There's no joy. There's no long-suffering. There's no, there's no gentleness. There's no goodness. I mean, telling a woman to get raped by sodomites, you know, that's wicked. That, 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 that's disgusting. That is not that is not the fruits of the spirit. But you know what that is? Lust of the flesh. Okay? Wrath. You know, emulation, strife. Uh, what else is there? Revilings. You know, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness. All that ticks the box right there. Rich Pankowski, when you examine the fruits of the spirit, Rich Pankowski ticks all the boxes for the lust of the flesh, but zero for the fruits of the spirit. He does not have the fruits of the Spirit. And also, an interesting note, this is what uh, Brother Aaron Deering pointed out. You know, Ephesians 5.11, when it says the unfruitful works, are works of darkness, it's not saying that they're just pointless works of darkness. No. Unfruitful means they have a point, but they're basically not having the fruits of the Spirit. Because like he pointed out, Satan has a goal. Satan has, a, has an agenda. You know? And the unfruitful works of darkness are not just pointless. They have a point. Okay? They're not just, they're not just you know, whatever, they're just a waste of time. No, they're actually unfruitful and causing problems. And I believe it's on purpose too, by the way, which is a whole other issue. But you just look at Rich Pankowski's ministry. You know, he has he has the works of the flesh all through the thing. He has the unfruitful works of darkness. And he doesn't like having it revealed. Well, guess what? It's going to be revealed. You know, if, if his followers don't like that, that's their problem. It just shows that they have their, their idolaters of Rich Pankowski. So anyway, that's, that's the end of this video. 
Uh, I'll be doing some more videos in the future on Rich Pekoski, showing his wickedness and also exposing him from a biblical basis. But yeah, he does not have the fruits of the spirit. He's got the lust of the flesh. So mark and avoid him. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.